Zed fam, recently here on YouTube, I asked you in a community post, what would be your dream game? Tell me your dreams. <laughs> and some of you has responded. First of all, from Django Collectibles, a friend, a good little YouTuber, decent bloke who deserves a better shake in life. So give him a look on YouTube. Guy's a decent bloke. Anyway, what he was saying was, I wish and hope that a new Dino Crisis remake. Hmm. Now, Dino Crisis, that could actually be interesting because if Dino Crisis could be handled the same way that Resident Evil has been handled by Konami, then, wow. Things could be really interesting. Like, you know, dinosaurs are mutated, and, but by genetics, not by by crazy scientists and stuff like Jurassic Park but next level with real sort of hiding and stuff and sneaking through vents and try to take them out and maybe there's like you've got biological warfare items that sort of like will knacker the dinosaurs at a genetic level and take them back to their original state but like really really super fast at an accelerated rate and then you just blast them with a normal shotgun yeah or maybe you could even have dinosaurs uh, be on your side. You know, you come up to a mutant dinosaur, whack it with a syringe or a bullet that's got like laced with genetic code, and wham, that dinosaur's on your side. Obviously, these would be short term things because the dinosaur would be all corrupted and stuff and eventually would drop to indeed uh, because it was like it's got two combative genetic codes rattling around in its body. But they could be interesting and it would be a limited resource so maybe you could have a, like a boss fight with a gigantic Tyrannosaurus Rex or even something like an Indominus Rex <laughs> and you're blasting like some of its minion dinosaurs that have come out to battle you with said bullets there could be lots of really interesting things and that recent game with all the dinosaurs falling out of the sky and stuff ignore that, that's not a dino crisis but have something that's full of resource management and one ma one person up against it in a secluded area with da with genetically modified dinosaurs running about the joint. Yes, like that plan. Now, who else was next? Uh, Phenom. At least I think that's how you say his name. Uh, P J V E N O M. 1985. This guy is awesome Zen fam. He is always in the comments and he's, I think he's a YouTuber as well and he's a, just a really supportive member of the Zen fam. So if he is, look him up and give him a, give him a sub because he's really is. He's one of you guys and he's just sweet as a nut. Uh, but he's also, he's like, he's a big guy for animal rights and stuff. So what he said is, hmm. Um, of all, off the top of my head, a vegan animal rights forward slash liberation style game would be right up my alley, or perhaps a positive animal sanctuary slash rescue title, similar to the farming games minus the exploitation of sentient beings, so on and so on. You get the drift. Right, so that could be fun. A game where you go in. And like, uh, yeah, you're having to like break into establishments and like free animals from from being tested on. And you have to get past security systems and you have to do other missions where you have to sort of like sweetheart guards and stuff. So you could be like a male guard, you could be like a, a female person. And you have to sort of seduce male guard members in their outside life. So when they let you into the facility, and then obviously you hit them with a trank, you know, and you bust out with the animals. Or maybe you're like, you have to go in with a bunker buster and like take out the side wall and free larger animals. And there could be all kinds of interesting sort of ways and different means that like every mission could be different. So different way to free different types of animals with different sorts of outcomes upon the loadouts that you take. So it could be almost like uh, 
like a payday game where you have to sort of scope the place get the resources together like a heist like a heist game yeah that could be really really cool we could call it something like animal extraction yeah that'd be fun nice one dude i really like that idea and then of course the mighty mighty mark goes blind gaming who is someone who i nominated for a youtuber of them and won his nomination and uh, he's a really good youtuber dead funny bloke so give him a look and what he put was uh fantastic questions such and such and uh, he gave me lots and lots of answers um uh, let's see where is it he says he's having to pay, trade it back a bit because he, he knows i'm a family friendly channel uh, where was it uh a sonic the hedgehog maker so obviously this is right down to sega so we can cut out a lot of things so a Sonic the Hedgehog maker where you're basically doing like the Sonic games but with your own creation that could be really interesting because that could end up being like Mario maker so you could end up sharing levels and sharing your creation and maybe even be a bit like Biomutant where you create your own character so it could be a 3d realm where you create your own puzzles and own levels and own jumps and tricks and stuff get a bit sort of you know dreams ish because you've got the creation aspect but obviously it's within a particular field so it's not as overly wide scope as dreams is so people don't come in and get instantly intimidated it could end up with lots of really cool creations online yeah yeah i like that and one guy at work who didn't actually comment on the on it but saw it and came up to me and told him himself what he said was what he'd love to see is he loves the movie Dread you know the the the, the one that's like the raid from a few years ago with Carl Urban I love that movie best way to watch that movie is on a PlayStation VR in the home cinema mode lie back on a couch with that 70 inch virtual screen oh that is the way. It's not as pin sharp as like a full HD screen, but it's all encompassing and you really, the 3D really plays so well in that, especially as the 3D was used so sparingly. So, yeah, you're going through level by level, floor by floor, you know, having to be careful your resources because you're running out of bullets. Your partner, you have to watch them because they're not as experienced, but then they're also part of your gameplay experience because they're able to like sense what's going on in other rooms and things because they're psychic powers so you can have like the radar vision or detective vision but through your other characters eyes and they can only describe it to you obviously you can see it but uh, you have to ask them for descriptions so that you can get clues about what's in the room that you could not see when you were looking yeah, so it has to be also perceived, so the perceptions have to be spoken to your Dread character. Yeah, and movie tie-in. And you could probably have, like, extra stuff. You could have more floors, and it could be a longer experience. Yeah. Hmm. And also more to be made of the actual getting up to Peachtree Towers. More of that, more of that chase sequence. And then when you get out, there could be like a reprisal. So there could be extra stuff after you leave the building. In fact, just make a whole Dread game. Let's just go nuts. Let's have an actual, proper, color, urban, full-on, just Dread game. You know, call it Block Riot. So you've got like uh, two warring blocks against it from each other. Because that's what used to happen in the comics. You would have block wars. So you have to go in and pacify one block and then you have to go in and pacify the other block yeah and you could have a, you could have a squad of judges and you could command squad of judges uh, to to do things on the floor above and uh, below you while you're taking care of the stuff on the floor that you're on you could control those other judges via commands and they'd be radio chatter back and forth while they you go in and pacify and then they maintain 
yeah. I mean, I'm just doing this all off the top of my head, but these ideas, yeah, these could totally happen. These could totally work. If you have any other ideas yourself to go on from this, then please put them in the comments below. If I get some really good ones, then I might make a sequel, sequel to this video. <laughs> but yeah, interesting ideas, guys. Thank you for those. And uh, maybe we'll do this again. And you know what, will, what else will happen again? It's the outro! Hashtag support Scottish YouTubers. And of course, as always, I, they bother.